This is our video number second on consignment procurement cycle in SAP. In this video, we are discussing about the purchase info record. We, dis uh, we are discussing about the consignment info record in SAP. So what is a purchase info record or consignment info record in material and vendor master records? When we are creating material and vendor master record, we maintain material and vendor specific information in the material and vendor master records. But the combined information of material and vendor all together is kept in a record which is known as purchase info record. This information is defaulted copied during the purchase acquisition or purchase order creation. We maintain the following data in purchase info records such as current and future prices, conditions like a gross price, freight, discount, these are the conditions we have in SAP. The delivery date, planned delivery time and current vendor data, tax information and tax that uh, purchase info tax and purchase order tax uh, information we can enter in our purchase info record. So we have uh, different type of categories of purchase info record in SAP. First we have standard info record. We have subcontracting uh, sub info record. We have pipeline info record and the last one that is consignment info record. So right now we are discussing, right now we are doing consignment info record in SAP. And there are two methods to create uh, an info record in SAP. One is manual creation and the other one is automatic creation. We can create uh, manually a purchase info record via transaction code which is ME11 or you can update or change the uh, that info record information via transaction code which is ME12. How to create an automatic uh, info record so purchasing info record can be created or updated automatically by setting the info record in indicator while maintaining a quotation, purchase order or outline agreement in SAP. So how to create a consignment purchase info record in SAP? So for that we need to go in logistics. In logistics we have materials management. In materials management we have purchasing. In purchasing, we have master data. In master data, we have info records. And info records, we have first option, which is ME11. So either you can use this SAP menu path, or you can use this transaction code, which is ME11, to create a purchase info record in SAP. So double click this. Here, we're going to select the supplier, the vendor, so let's assume it, we, go, we are going to select our supplier, which is Samsung Motors. Enter. This is our material, which is 1559, which is stainless steel. This is the purchasing organization that is our plant. And in the info category, we need to select the option here consignment because we are creating this info record for consignment procurement cycle so press enter so when we press enter it will move to this window so here if you see this is our vendor which is samsung motors llc then we have our material our material is 1559 which is stainless steel the material group is 107 which is under the miscellaneous. Now we need to enter this vendor data. So here we have this first reminder, second reminder and third reminder. These three fields indicate reminders to be issued to the vendor. For example, if you enter here a negative value like minus one or minus two. So if you're using a negative value you can remind your vendor in advance to a delivery date. And if you enter a positive value, then you remind your vendor 
if he did not deliver at the delivery date. So this reminder one, two or three, it is meant to remind your vendor about the delivery. So let's assume it, I'm going to enter here reminder 10, uh, first reminder in 10 days, second in 30 and third in uh, 30 days. Then we have this vendor material number. This is a material number that is used by the vendor for this material. In most cases, the vendor uses a different material number. Uh, like they are using a different number for the material that the one used by us. Then we have this vendor sub range. This vendor sub range functionality can be used to subdivide the vendor's product into different ranges. For example, uh, for example, if we have a product like a uh, product of paint manufacturer, so that can be divided into exterior paints or interior paints. Then we have material uh, vendor material group. This vendor material group that is uh, the group is used by the vendor for this material. Then we have the salesman, uh, the salesperson. The salesperson is the name of the contact person. So for in our case, let's suppose it is John Wick. Then you need to enter the telephone number. That is a telephone, the contact number of the contact person or a vendor. Then we have this return agreement. This field specifies the agreement between the client and the vendor for the return of the material. So here we have three different options. One that is uh, no return possible. The second is return with no refund. And third is uh, a a re a return with refund. So we are going to select here return with refund. Then we have buyer vendor. This buyer vendor is a vendor who is one step back in the supply chain from the source from which a material is procured. This buyer vendor is frequently the manufacturer of the material. Then we have purchase order unit of measure. We are measuring this in tons. Then we have this conversion. If the base unit differ from the order unit, then we need to specify the base unit to the order unit conversion here. Then we have this origin data. In origin data, we have this certificate number. Here you can maintain the certificate number issued in, in the country of origin. Then we have valid to. Here you can maintain the date until which the certificate of origin is valid. Then we have country of origin. Here you can maintain the country and the region from which the material originates. Then you can mention the uh, that is the region and we have the number and that is the manufacturer. Then you can press you can click this purchase organization tab here. So when you click this purchase organization tab, this uh, you are going to enter the pur uh, purchase organization data one. So here we have plan delivery date. So let's assume it our plan delivery date is two days. Then we have this our purchasing group that is our employee. The standard quantity which we're going to order so that is thousand. You can also mention the minimum quantity or unlimited also you can check unlimited then we have we're going to enter here the text code which is five percent input text which is b1 enter and here you need to enter the net price so for this item the net price which we enter in the material master for stainless steel that is 450 dirham so here we're going to enter the net price 450 so this is uh, how we enter the purchase organization data one. Now, if you want to enter the conditions, so you can click this option. You, you can click this tab, which is condition. So click this conditions. And here we have this validity from this purchase info record validity period. So I'm going to enter here. Let's assume it's 01.01.2020 .01 till this date. 
and this is our condition type which is P, uh, PP00 which is cross price which is 450 and let's suppose uh, we need to pay the freight also so we can pay, uh, we can select the condition for the freight in the percentage wise or the value wise so let's assume it we are paying in the value wise which is 150 or let's suppose 50 dirham so we can enter here the amount 50 right so this is how we can enter the condition in purchase info record now our next step is that we need to enter the text that is a text so here we have two different texts we can enter so first we have info record notes info record notes is an internal uh, comment that is adopted in the purchase order items the info record note is not printed in the purchase order then we have this purchase order text load stock carefully this is the uh, the text which is coming from the material master record this purchase order text in info records describe the order item if the purchase order text is already defined in the material master it appear as a default value so this is how we are creating a purchase info record in SAP so you need to click this save icon to save this purchase info record and when, uh, once we save it our purchasing info record number 5897 in company code MD1K with the category K is created 